Protesters in Saudi Arabia once again take to the streets to denounce the ruling Al Saud family. Protesters in the eastern city of Khatif also showed their support for the jailed cleric Sheikh Nimr Al Nimr. Saudi prosecutors are seeking the death penalty for Nimr, who is an outspoken critic of the regime. Iran's deputy chief negotiator has said Tehran will enter Friday's talks with the P5 plus 1 with clear and groundbreaking proposals. Ali Bakri was speaking from Kazakhstan where the talks are going to take place. Meanwhile, the secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council has urged the P5 plus 1 to recognize the nation's rights. Health authorities in China are culling thousands of poultry due to a new strain of deadly bird flu. The disease has so far killed five people. Officials say there have been 11 laboratory confirmed cases. The new virus has been discovered in pigeon samples at a market in Shanghai. The war of words between North Korea and the U.S. is heating up. Pyongyang says a nuclear war with Washington could start any time. This comes after the U.S. and South Korea staged a joint military drill. Washington says it has taken all necessary precautions against North Korea. Japan says it's planning a massive stimulus package to spur its economic growth. Japanese officials say the central bank also plans to purchase government bonds and risky assets. Japan's economy has been facing a cycle of sluggish growth and recession for years. Bank employees in Cyprus have staged a two-hour walkout to protest possible layoffs and benefit cuts. The measures are part of a bailout package Nicosia is to receive from the international creditors. Bank employees also accuse the government of not doing enough to protect pension funds. Pressure is building up on the French President François Hollande over tax fraud scandal of an ex-budget minister, Jérôme Cahuzac, has been charged in a tax fraud probe after admitting to an undeclared bank account in Switzerland. Now opposition is calling on Hollande and top government officials to resign. Argentina has declared three days of mourning following the death of around 60 people in floods and heavy storms. Rescue workers are still trying to help stranded residents in La Plata and Buenos Aires. The government has called the floods as an unprecedented catastrophe.